One of the basic pieces of furniture, a chair is a type of seat. Its primary features are two pieces of a durable material, attached as back and seat to one another at a 90 degrees or slightly greater angle, with usually the four corners of the horizontal seat attached in turn to four legs or other parts of the seat's underside, attached to three legs or to a shaft, about which a forearm turnstile on rollers can turn strong enough to support the weight of a person who sits on the seat, usually wide and broad enough to hold the lower body from the buttocks almost to the knees and leans against the vertical back, usually high and wide enough to support the back to the shoulder blades. The legs are typically high enough for the seated person's thighs and knees to form a 90 degrees or lesser angle. Used in a number of rooms in homes, example, in living rooms, dining rooms and dens, in schools and offices, with desks, and in various other workplaces, chairs may be made of wood, metal, or synthetic materials, and either the seat alone or the entire chair may be padded or upholstered in various colors and fabrics. Chairs vary in design. An armchair has armrests fixed to the seat, a recliner is upholstered and under its seat is a mechanism that allows one to lower the chair's back and raise into place a fold-out footrest. A rocking chair has legs fixed to two long curved slats, and a wheelchair has wheels fixed to an axis under the seat. Chair design considers intended usage, ergonomics, how comfortable it is for the occupant, as well as non-ergonomic functional requirements such as size, stacking ability, folding ability, weight, durability, stain resistance, and artistic design. Hello dear reviewers, welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you creative chair design ideas for your home decor for your inspiration. You can use these designs to try to make your own pieces at home. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one. chair has been used since antiquity, although for many centuries it was a symbolic article of state and dignity, rather than an article for ordinary use. The chair is still used as the emblem of authority in the House of Commons in the United Kingdom and Canada, and in many other settings. In keeping with this historical connotation of the chair as the symbol of authority, committees, boards of directors, and academic departments all have a chairman or chair. Endowed professorships are referred to as chairs. It was not until the 16th century that chairs became common. Until then, people sat on chests, benches, and stools, which were the ordinary seats of everyday life. The number of chairs which have survived from an earlier date is exceedingly limited. Most examples are of ecclesiastical, signorial or feudal origin. Chairs were in existence since at least the early dynastic period of Egypt, 3100 BC. They were covered with cloth or leather, were made of carved wood, and were much lower than today's chairs. Chair seats were sometimes only 10 inches, 25 centimeters, high. In ancient Egypt, chairs appear to have been of great richness and splendor. Fashioned of ebony and ivory, or of carved and gilded wood, they were covered with costly materials, magnificent patterns and supported upon representations of the legs of beasts or the figures of captives. Generally speaking, the higher ranked an individual was, the taller and more sumptuous was the chair he sat on and the greater the honor. On state occasions, the pharaoh sat on a throne, often with a little footstool in front of it. The average Egyptian family seldom had chairs, and if they did, it was usually only the master of the household who sat on a chair. Among the better off, the chairs might be painted to look like the ornate inlet and carved chairs of the rich, but the craftsmanship was usually poor. The earliest images of chairs in China are from 6th century Buddhist murals and stele, but the practice of sitting in chairs at that time was rare. It was not until the 12th century that chairs became widespread in China. Scholars disagree on the reasons for the adoption of the chair. 
The most common theories are that the chair was an outgrowth of indigenous Chinese furniture, that it evolved from a camp stool imported from Central Asia, that it was introduced to China by Christian missionaries in the 7th century, and that the chair came to China from India as a form of Buddhist monastic furniture. In modern China, unlike Korea or Japan, it is no longer common to sit at floor level. In Europe, it was owing in great measure to the Renaissance that the chair ceased to be a privilege of state and became a standard item of furniture for anyone who could afford to buy it. Once the idea of privilege faded the chair speedily came into general use. Almost at once the chair began to change every few years to reflect the fashions of the day. Thomas Edward Bowditch visited the main palace of the Ashanti Empire in 1819 and observed chairs engrossed with gold in the empire. In the 1880s, chairs became more common in American households, and usually there was a chair provided for every family member to sit down to dinner. By the 1830s, factory manufactured fancy chairs like those by Sears, Roebuck, and company allowed families to purchase machine sets. With the Industrial Revolution, chairs became much more available. The 20th century saw an increasing use of technology in chair construction with such things as all-metal folding chairs, metal-legged chairs, the slumber chair, molded plastic chairs and ergonomic chairs. The recliner became a popular form, at least in part due to radio and television. In the 1930s, stair lifts were commercially available to help people suffering from polio and other diseases to navigate stairs. The modern movement of the 1960s produced new forms of chairs, the butterfly chair, originally called the hardoy chair, bean bags, and the egg-shaped pod chair that turns. It also introduced the first mass-produced plastic Chairs can be made from wood, metal, or other strong materials, like stone or acrylic. In some cases, multiple materials are used to construct a chair, for example, the legs and frame may be made from metal, and the seat and back may be made from plastic. Chairs may have hard surfaces of wood, metal, plastic, or other materials, or some or all of these hard surfaces may be covered with upholstery or padding. The design may be made of porous materials or be drilled with holes for decoration, a low back or gaps can provide ventilation. The back may extend above the height of the occupant's head, which can optionally contain a headrest. Chairs can also be made from more creative materials, such as recycled materials like cutlery and wooden clay bricks, pencils, plumbing tubes, rope, corrugated cardboard, and PVC pipe. In rare cases, chairs are made out of unusual materials, especially as a form of art or experimentation. Raymond Cyrillus, a Latvian interior designer, created a volcanic hanging chair that is a handmade out of volcanic rock. Peter Brenner, a Dutch-born German designer, has created a chair made from lollipop sugar 60 pounds 27 kilograms, of confectioner's sugar. Well dear viewers as you can see in the video we have compiled a number of interesting creative chair design idea for your inspiration, which one is your favorite and way, let us know in comment section by now you know that our channel is a full of inspiring videos which you can use in your next design from time to time. If you like our content please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos your subscriptions, like and shares are what inspire us to create more contents. Therefore, please consider subscribing to our channel if you have not already. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our